Hello. So I really wanted to try to do some shooting today, but uh, I got up and the temperature is about 38 degrees. So instead of going out and shooting, I figured I'd go ahead and uh, take the time and do a what's in the bag uh, 2022 version. Uh, not as much has changed. Uh, I would say in the last two years, uh, the only thing I've changed uh, as far as in my bag and what I uh, take with me um, is uh, a tripod and probably the bag itself. Uh, everything inside I've been using for at least the last uh, three to four years. Alright, so this loadout um, is uh, this loadout is what I would take with me and I'm going out uh, on a hike to one of the parks. Um, the only difference in this loadout from when if I was going to go do some birding would be uh, changing out the 70 to 200 with a 600 millimeter. Also I would carry my uh, other larger tripod and uh, uh, also I would carry a gimbal with me. Um, so everything in this bag is what I take other than what I'm recording on right now which is uh, my uh, GoPro and then I have a basically a dedicated uh, tripod and a selfie stick that's kind of like an all-in-one um, combination that uh, I would obviously be carrying with me. So with that, let me uh, go about uh, showing you what I uh, have in here. Um, I don't know if my uh, assistant here, Lulu, will stay with me because she's all comfortable right now. Um, but uh, when I start getting the bag, she kind of like doesn't want to have uh, anything to do with that. So we'll see how long she stays with me. So this is the bag. right here. Uh, first of all, um, I'm not going to go over anything that uh, as far as uh, this is the model I carry for this, this is the brand I use. Um, I just want to give a general overall uh, description of what I carry. If this is not uh, to go over any brands, uh, this, and I'm not going to tell you about this is better than that or you should be carrying this because I think that right there is a very individual uh, decision that uh, you would make uh, whether you're going to carry Nikon, Sony, Canon. Uh, some people go with uh, um, the action camera uh, itself. Uh, a lot of others, they include uh, drones and uh, other things. I just want to go over, this is what uh, I carry with me. Um, it pretty much covers everything that I do out in the field for uh, landscape and uh, nature photography. Um, if I'm traveling, I have another bag that uh, I would take if uh, I'm traveling to a vacation city or something like that. Um, I have different lenses for macro. Uh, uh, so this right here is dedicated to when I'm going out to do my photo hiking. Um, so with that, uh, and I'm not going to take too long on this, I'm just going to go over what I've got. Uh, this bag, I pretty much have everything mod uh, modulized, I guess, is that a word? <laughs> I don't know. Um, but uh, I'm going to start with going on, going uh, with uh, what's on the outside of the bag, um, and then uh, I'll go into uh, each of the compartments and uh, what's listed in there, and then uh, what I'll do um, is... Pretty much a lot of uh, the accessories and so forth, they're in individual bags. I highly uh, advise, uh, you know, doing something like that because, like I said, for one thing, when you're, you want to go out and you wind up, you, you're reaching for, let's uh, say, an extra battery or you wanted to get this uh, lens or this filter and you found out, oops, I left it home. Um, so... The way I carry everything in this bag, um, it's kind of like uh, my own checklist in my head. 
that uh, um, everything I needed is in the bag. Let me go over the uh, outside first, uh, and then I will, uh, like I said, go in um, to each of the uh, compartments. This bag here, um, I've actually done a review on this bag, actually two of them I think it was, maybe it's just one of them, but I purchased this um, a while ago and I've been using it, um, I've gone through several different bags, but with this one here, uh, basically it's got your outside of the bag, it's got the front pocket, it's got the top pocket, and then it's got the back of it where you have where I've got all the photo equipment. So I'm going to go over just the round of the bag right now. So on the outside front, I carry this, um, they call it a butt bag and some people call it something else. But anyways, this right here, um, I use this on the ground for putting my camera on. Um, I can use this to put my knees on. I can sit on this. Um, it's just, you know, an all general purpose is when you've got a um, either a, a sandy, uh, dirty, uh, you know, for your le uh, wet leaves, you can put this down and have a dry surface. Um, I'll show you also in there that I do carry a 30-gallon uh, uh, trash bag that I've also used to lay out um, when I'm working close to the ground. Um, it just keeps everything, A, organized when you've got things out there and you don't have something placed in the grass and when you put everything back in and you take off and you, you wind up saying, oops, I forgot something. Um, but this right here uh, does that purpose very well. Let me go ahead and leave that off. Um, on this side of the bag here, I normally will carry a water bottle and then a uh, um, trekking pole. Um, I found uh, trekking poles, uh, at least one of them, to be uh, really uh, good to use. A, um, my back is uh, not like it used to be, and going uphill and going downhill, having a, a really good trekking pole has helped out a lot um, as far as uh, being able to support the weight of the uh, pack on my back and uh, getting up and down the uh, terrain. Um, it's just a standard trekking pole the only modification i've done to this trekking pole is i've added some uh, gaffers tape and i've uh, added some red electrical tape gaffers tape um, it's uh, one of those things that has 101 uses um, if you're a photographer you usually have some gaffers tape on you um, i have it here and i also have uh, what i'll show you is a small toolkit in here that I also keep some uh, gaffer's tape in there wrapped around a card. This electrical tape, um, what I use this for is most of the time I'm on a trail, but if there's a time that I go off trail, um, and sometimes in very dense wood, I can use this and I can take it off, and there's probably about 10 feet of it here, but I can take a small portion of that, and since it's very bright, can wrap it around a branch and it kind of lets me know where I've been when I've gone off trail so when I got to go back to the trail then I can just follow this back on the trail and of course I take it off the branches because I just believe in uh, the uh, saying of leave no trace so whenever I use it it comes off with me and you know gets uh, disposed of in a uh, proper uh, receptacle so yeah just a standard trekking pole um, on this side here, this is where um, I'll usually carry that tripod that I'm recording on right now, and then I carry this carbon fiber, uh, I consider this my travel tripod, um, I've been using this for a while now, very good, like I said, it's just uh, your standard uh, four section uh, tra uh, travel pod, a uh, travel tripod, um, it does have the center column. I usually keep the uh, center column all the way down, um, but it's nice to have the little extra height uh, if I need it. Um, you're, and it's the, the ball head is what came with it. I did uh, change out the, um, the uh, 
<clears throat> the hit on the tripod here to uh, um, from an uh, old tripod uh, ball head I had, and I just like this um, this plate here. Um, it was very easy to uh, uh, get the camera off and on. So that's on that side. I don't know if I remember told telling you. Also on the other side is I do carry a liter uh, water bottle with me. Um, so on the strap side of it, so on the waist strap itself, um, on this side here, I do have a uh, um, small uh, bottle of um, pepper spray. Um, it's just, you know, um, hiker beware. So it's a, uh, just, you know, you want to have some kind of protection out there. Um, it fits right in this pocket here. Um, and uh, it's, you know, there if you ever have to need it, we're four-legged or two-legged. Um, I'll leave that to your choice. Um, this side, this actual pocket here, um, I have some wet ones in there, wet wipes. I'll also use this to put my uh, put my lens cap. So um, it's always a good idea, again, to have just standardized routines. And my routine is always to put it in this pocket. So when I'm done with the lid and I've got, or I'm done with the lens and I got to put the lens cap back on, I reach in this pocket, the lens cap is there, it goes back in, back on. If it's not there, I know I've lost it somewhere. Um, so that's that on the, this strap here is uh, where I have my, uh, re, you know, the a sternum strap. And on here is just basically, it's a thermometer. Uh, well, I could show you. I picked this up uh, many, many years ago when I was hiking, you know, without doing uh, um, photo hiking. But uh, this is a whistle, thermometer, and uh, compass all in one. Uh, I don't use this for the compass itself. If anything, it would be kind of like a backup compass if I needed to use that. But anyways, it's, it's right here, ready for use. On this strap... I keep the uh, camera clip. Um, I've done a, a review on this. Uh, you can see that in my library. Uh, also, I know I've done two reviews on that. Um, it's uh, basically a knockoff peak design type of clip. It works really well. Um, on here, I also keep a, a ball compass on this. This is basically the one I use um, just to know uh, that... Uh, I can glance down here and know what direction I'm going because you know how a lot of your uh, trail hike, uh, they will kind of uh, curve left, curve white, curve right, and you sometimes don't even know what direction you're going in. It's always good to kind of reach, da reach down, look up, or you know, look, look down, and then see uh, what direction you're going. Along here also is a... Uh, Lens cleaning cloth. Um, I don't carry lens cleaning uh, solution. Um, as you'll see, I carry a, a lens pen. I carry this, and I carry a blower, and that's about all you know. I'll do as far as uh, wiping the lens. Um, if I get something uh, that uh, won't get off, then I will use um, a uh, alcohol pad. Um, and then, of course, the lens plant, the lens pen has got a uh, uh, an applicator on that that can get off fingerprints. So, but I also use this to wipe off my uh, filters when I put them on. So it, you know, it's right here. So that's that takes care of everything on the outside of the pack. Okay, so we'll start in the uh, front pocket here. In the front pocket, I will sometimes carry a, uh, a tablet. So, in this front pocket, it's basically been relegated to um, my uh, filters. So, I carry two um, types of the uh, neutral density filters. These are in powers of ND8 uh, and ND16. Um, and it's uh, your uh, ND filters and graduated ND filters in the same powers. 
Um, I thought about getting like a uh, um, uh, an ND10 or like a big stopper or something like that, but I have found that uh, I like more doing either a 6 or an 8 or I can combine the two of them and then get to a 9 and that's the strongest I need. Um, I carry these which are also you know the uh, 100 by the 150s. Um, I like having the uh, the bigger glass. Um, for one thing I do like uh, square filters. I you know I've had round, I've had squares, I just like the squares. Um, and I like the, the larger glass because they're easier to handle and um, so going with those uh, ND filters I have uh, two um, the uh, adapters for it and on the adapters I have my uh, uh, the uh, polarizers. The polarizers uh, use in conjunction with the uh, ND filters or I'll just use the polarizing filters and these uh, go to each of the lenses that I carry. And you'll find that I've got it down to I only carry two lenses. Um, so whoops, with these, um, the adapter and then the uh, polarizing filter will go right on to uh, my filter holder and then I can put the filters in there and use them both at the same time. So basically I have uh, uh, 70, uh, 7 millimeter and the 82 millimeter. Um, also in here I keep a pad of paper. These are uh, the glasses that I use when uh, um, working with the camera um, just because uh, eyesight isn't as good as it used to be. Um, so these let me be able, let me see the uh, uh, display in the back, the LCD display and also uh, the settings on the camera. Uh, here's the lens pin I carry. Uh, it's your standard lens pin. And I think that is it that I have in here. Yeah, at this time that like this is stuff that stays in here all the time at the ready. Okay, and going to the top pocket of this, um, I can show you. So basically, um, as you can see, I have everything uh, has a home. Um, so I don't. I can reach in here, and I know. Um, just for the feel of what I have in here, uh, where the places are, um, and, and if it is dark, um, I can see in here uh, or feel in here. But if I'm just glancing in here, so right off the bat, you know, this is a map pouch. I've got uh, um, everything has its own little baggie. Um, you can't go wrong having things in bags because if they're wet, then you have something to put them in and you're not putting something wet in the uh, backpack. But uh, uh, first aid, uh, kind of a little uh, survival kit, um, I'll go over all those. But uh, anyways, everything has a home in here. I keep everything in here, um, but yet there's uh, plenty of room that uh, I also uh, will... Um, Decided to call it quits. Okay. I uh, also carry, uh, you know, snacks or uh, my lunch with me. So there's plenty of room for that. And if I had to wear a, a jacket, I can also roll up a jacket, put it in here, or I can roll up the jacket and put it on the outside. So to begin with, let me go over this uh, real quick. So carry uh, a pair of wireless headphones, two extra camera batteries. A uh, battery bank for the GoPro for my camera and um, I probably could charge uh, if uh, I carried uh, the charger for the battery um, 
This one right here is a 5,000 uh, milliamp um, that I've had quite a while. Um, it, it just keeps on going. I mean, I've had this for at least uh, 12 years, um, but I do have a couple of uh, uh, 10,000 uh, milliamp uh, milliamp hour uh, uh, battery banks that uh, I usually carry those if I'm going from an extended travel. Those are in my other uh, backpack. Um, but this, like I can get a full charge on my phone or a full recharge of the GoPro with that. Uh, also in here uh, are some uh, wipes for um, um, bug spray. Um, I normally have a little bottle of the uh, uh, DEET that I, uh, I carry around, but uh, you know, just in case uh, I didn't have that, um, I find that uh, these uh, little wipes here, you just take them, and I can wipe my neck, my hands, uh, my arms, and uh, uh, it's the next best thing for this in the spray. Uh, this is the 30-gallon uh, uh, trash bag that I carry, uh, and I've had this one. Oh, long, several, several years. Um, you know, I did, I've did. i never had to uh, rip it or cut it. So uh, right now, the only thing I've been using it for has been a ground cover. But uh, I would also use this to cover the uh, complete bag. Even though I do have a, uh, a built-in um, rain cover for this, I do have this that I can put this uh, completely over the bag and over me. Um, I do carry um, a in here. Ah, let's see now. So we've got in here is a uh, complete rain poncho. This one is extra large, so it will go over the backpack. It'll go over me. Has a hood that. Um, I also carry maps. This uh, map here is actually. Uh, a printout to one of the parks that I go to, um, but I, uh, you know, will uh, take a map with me for an area that I plan on going to. Normally, I use uh, an app on my phone uh, with the GPS, so I have that as my uh, primary um, for knowing where I am on the trails. And uh, but you always want to have a backup. Um, this right here is a uh, microfiber cloth. It's a, uh, I don't know how big it is. It's probably about uh, yay square. And uh, it's always good to have one of these for when you've got to wipe off. Uh, if you get uh, uh, wet in something or dirt, sand, if you're on the beach, whatever, always have a, a good uh, microfiber cloth to uh, Wipe your hands, wipe your face, uh, wipe your your equipment. Um, I do carry um, a small, I can show you that right now. In the back here is this pouch. This pouch is where it holds the uh, rain uh, hood for the entire pack. But I do carry a uh, little hand uh, microfiber cloth in there for the wiping my hands. And uh, I can just throw it in there. Um, Let's see, I will go over this uh, um, pack in uh, detail. There's a lot of stuff in here. This is what I consider uh, my uh, uh, survival little pouch. Uh, if I happen to be out on the trail and something would happen, I basically carry everything in here that uh, will take care of uh, a, a situation to where I can get uh, uh, back or I have things in here that uh, I can hunker down if I need to, if I needed to have somebody come get me. Um, anyways, but I will go over this uh, in another video. Um, but you just notice that uh, I purposely chose the uh, camo uh, pouch for this because camo, survivalist, you know, that type of thing. So um, it has a purpose. Uh, the other pouch that, uh, of course, everybody should have this. I carry one of these in every vehicle, every backpack. Um, is a just a good first aid kit. Um, this is nothing special. It is uh, a uh, off-the-shelf type thing. 
It just has a pair of scissors. It's got tweezers. It's got uh, band-aids, uh, bandages, uh, um, wraps. Uh, it's got uh, um, some compression bandages in there. You know, just everything if you uh, wind up getting uh, boo-boos out there on the trail. And then the only other thing in this pack is this pouch here. Um, this one is a, I'll go over this real quick. This one is my tools pouch. So uh, anything photography related or anything that I have to fix, whether it's uh, um, tightening bolts on the tripod, taking the, uh, the bracket on and off the camera, or tightening, and, uh, tightening up the uh, bracket on the camera, um, it is just everything that uh, I would need uh, to do any kind of uh, repairs out in the field. I normally, uh, well, I always have a Leatherman with me. I don't go anywhere. I have multiple Leathermans that um, I put on my person as a everyday carry for whatever I'm doing. Um, so when I'm uh, out hiking, uh, I carry a multi-tool with me in my pocket, but this just has the tools that I would use for taking care of things uh, out on the, in the field. So uh, again, white for the, uh, the lenses, um, AA batteries, uh, these are uh, standard alkaline batteries. Um, I carry uh, uh, two AA's and two AAA's. Um, I do have a remote that uses the AAA. My headlamp uses the AAA. And then uh, if I'm carrying a flash, then uh, um, I carry a couple of these just regular alkalines if the uh, rechargeables just happen to uh, not last long enough. Um, this right here is if I need to uh, or wanted to take the... Uh, pictures off the uh, camera and put them on a uh, uh, tablet. This right here um, will, uh, using the uh, um, USB-C connector, will connect to the uh, uh, tablet. And then also on the other end, uh, will plug into like a laptop or anything like that. And then it will fit, um, whether it's a uh, several different size uh, um, memory cards. Um, I also carry a piece of rubber. This, um, I don't remember who uh, um, I saw use this. It was in a YouTube video that I watched and he had a uh, piece of a mouse pad. This is basically what this is. I've cut a, uh, an old mouse pad I had and this right here is when you get something stuck in the filter threads of your uh, camera lens, um, whether you use the circular uh, filters or for, m for me, it's uh, the uh, adapters for uh, my filter bracket. Um, you can put uh, this over that uh, um, filter adapter or whatever you've got stuck in the lens. It gives you grip. Uh, it gives you a grip and you can twist it off. Um, this has got some uh, wear and tear on it because I've actually had to use that. I don't know, you know, sometimes those things just get uh, stuck on the lens, uh, whether it's uh, just because uh, it heats up and uh, it, you know, the filter uh, threads uh, sweat uh, because of moisture in the air. Whatever, you, you know, if you get stuck, it's always something, you know, I've seen those wrenches you can get, but uh, sometimes you can't get that wrench around the uh, adapter, especially if, uh, like my adapter, um, with one instance, I had the polarizing filter stuck on the adapter itself and that a wrench would not fit inside where the... Uh, um, polarizer was uh, screwed into so I was able to just hold the adapter and hold the polarizing filter with this and I was able to pull it off so this is a, a really good thing to have if you are dealing with any kind of uh, filters that you're going to be putting on an end of a lens. Um, I carry several uh, cotton swabs that's you know if you need to get uh, 
something off the lens. I can put a little bit of, uh, you know, a little bit of uh, wipe on it and uh, just uh, get it off that way. I try to be very uh, careful when I'm dealing with uh, my lenses. This right here is a, uh, a small little screwdriver set. Um, it's got both uh, regular and Phillips on it and a couple of different sizes. Uh, uh, let's see what else we got in here. Um, spare memory card. This is a 16 gigabyte card. Um, this right here is uh, the tool for getting uh, those uh, tripod plates uh, on and off the camera. Um, or you just have to tighten them up. Um, this right here is a shower cap. Again, um, when I go to a hotel, I, they've got shower caps. Uh, I take them with me. Um, if uh, it just happens to you're out in the fog and there's a mist or you're on the beach and you've got uh, salt and sand all, if uh, you want to keep it off the lens, this right here is a uh, really, really, really cheap way of doing it. Uh, I can take this out. It will cover uh, help my uh, 200 millimeter lens and the camera itself. I can put this right over it and you can pull this over the end of the lens and it's clear. You can still shoot. Um, so I always make sure I have one of these. Uh, again, very disposable um, and they also can be reused too. Uh, let's see. These are a couple of uh, extra cables that I use. Um, I've got uh, two different sizes here. Uh, another uh, USB B and a USB C. And then the only thing else that uh, I carry in here are for the various tripods and um, adapter plates that I carry with the uh, uh, my cameras, I have several uh, different um, Allen wrenches for those. Um, on, I have found that normally when you buy a tripod and it comes with uh, usually one Allen one uh, Allen key, and all my tripods they have where you need two Allen keys when you're uh, tightening or loosening the legs. Um, so I keep out of these, I probably have three different uh, sizes, but I've got um, uh, two of each size just for the tripods. So that's what I carry in this kit. Get all this out of the way. Okay. Um, so that oy, is what goes into the top of this. Go ahead and put all this back in there. Again. that everything has a home. Okay, and then the last thing I cover, um, which is the most important part of this, is the back of the camera bag and this is where I keep uh, all the camera gear that I use when I'm out on the field. So on this back right here this is where I keep my uh, additional uh, memory cards. I've got three additional memory cards in here and then uh, I got my uh, rechargeable batteries here um, and I have this set you know you know keep another set um, so I always have a uh, charged set of uh, batteries in here. Um, these are mostly, I use them for my flash. Um, now I don't carry a flash all the time. That is one other thing that uh, is different about this camera loadout. Um, if I 
think that I'll be needing a flash uh, for doing uh, close-up work or um, if it's uh, a little bit overcast. I like to use the flash as a, a fill for some of the uh, things that I shoot. Um, and uh, I've actually, uh, you can use a flash uh, to do some uh, light painting if uh, um, that's uh, one of the things that uh, uh, <coughs> you're into. So, anyways, again, everything is uh, modularized in here. Uh, uh, I usually keep things, uh, instead of having just a whole bunch of uh, stuff lying around, uh, I keep things in bags. Um, I used to have hard uh, containers for them, but I found that those hard cases, they just take up more room. Where if you have like a soft bag, it protects everything and it, you're able to stuff it down in smaller places. So it gives you more real estate in here. Um, so anyways, starting from the top, this is uh, the camera body that I use. Um, I can um, situate this bag to put an additional camera body in there, but I find that uh, having one camera body, um, if I put the extended battery pack on it, uh, it it'll fit in here uh, quite nicely. That's one of the reasons why I got this bag is that uh, sometimes I do carry the motor, or not the motor drive, that's... That's old school. The extended battery, um, uh, it, I can put that on there and it'll still fit in here easily. Um, of course, I do carry an L bracket on all my camera bodies. Um, those uh, find that uh, a good L bracket is indispensable when you're doing especially landscape photography. Uh, then pretty much the primary lens I use uh, is a... Uh, was a, uh, a 24 to 70. I recently uh, changed and now I'm using a 17 to 70. Um, I find that it has uh, given me, instead of, you know, if I wanted to do any kind of wide angle, the 17 millimeter is, uh, I find it, it's great um, for doing some uh, shots where uh, I want to get a lot of foreground in there. You can get low in a 17 millimeters you can really get a lot of the foreground in there, and it just, you know, lets your eyes flow out into um, uh, the distant horizon. Um, so I've really liked using this lens. Also underneath here is a uh, 1.4 uh, teleconverter um, that uh, just gives me a little bit extra reach with the 70 to uh, uh, 200. Um, so this one is a 2.8 to 2.2. 2.8 to uh, 2.4 as far as um, aperture. Um, I carry a crossbody uh, camera strap um, just that uh, if I want to uh, have the camera out um, and I'm walking, uh, if I don't have it on the clip, um, sometimes it's a, a lot easier to have it at the ready when you've got a good uh, camera strap or if I'm walking away from the bag to do some kind of shooting. Uh, instead of just having the camera in my hand, I'll just go ahead and put it on the strap. Um, and then the other lens that I carry is the 2.8 70 to uh, 200. Um, and like I said, I can put the 1.4 on here to get the uh, extra reach. Two point, did I say 2.5? I meant the, the 1.4. Teleconverter. Um, and this pouch here um, is everything that I carry for the GoPro that I'm uh, um, uh, recording on right now. And I also carry, um, so it's the uh, 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 clip that will go on the backpack if I wanted to put the GoPro uh, on my backpack or um, attach it to uh, Basically anything. It's basically uh, it's an alligator clamp type of uh, filter. But I also wanted to show you is yes this. I also carry um, a, a lavalier microphone and uh, a remote for the camera. Um, again, this is just a uh, no uh, no name uh, remote control. 
Um, I can plug this into the camera and use it with the, uh, the button itself, but it also has a, a remote trigger if I wanted to um, uh, get into the uh, picture itself or if I want to be away from the camera to uh, trigger the uh, remote. Um, so that has all that in there, and like I said, this would be also the home of the, uh, the GoPro. Um, also down in here is a little baggie, and this is what uh, carries my uh, um, audio. Um, so I've got a, uh, a small uh, audio uh, recorder, and then that would go with the, the lavalier uh, little uh, lapel microphone for uh, doing the recordings. Um, and this pouch here, I carry a um, blower brush. You decide to come back, buddy. And this is uh, Lulu, my daughter. So she stays here. She doesn't go on hikes with me. How are you doing, buddy? Anyways, also in here... Um, which I found <sighs> indispensable when you're in the uh, southern sun and you can't see the back of the camera. Um, it's got a little neck strap in there and I put this that I can put on the back of the camera and uh, not only does this magnify the uh, uh, LCD in the back of the camera but uh, um, it also shades it to where I can see what I've shot or if I want to check my uh, settings, check my uh, um, histogram, I can put this on there. And even if it's in bright sunlight, you can still see it. Um, it doesn't take up any room in this uh, bag. Uh, it's not something I use all the time, but it's something I like to have with me in case you need to use it. Uh, also in here, this is the adapter for my... Uh, um, uh, ND cards, ND filters, um, so it's right there to uh, just stick on the, uh, the lenses. And the last thing I have in this pack here is uh, a good, good set of binoculars. These are, uh, I think these are um, 8 by 10, or these are 10 by 32s. Um, before I was carrying some uh, uh, eight by, I think they were eight by thirty twos or something like that. They were a little smaller, but uh, um, I find that uh, these uh, give me a little bit uh, wider field of view. And uh, if I'm out in the woods and I'm looking uh, for uh, mostly uh, birds, a good pair of binoculars uh, will never do you do you any harm. I mean, if you're uh, looking for uh, any kind of birds or wildlife, something like that, it's a lot easier to scout your area with a pair of binoculars than it is and what's trying to put up a uh, telephoto lens up to your eye because um, you cover a lot more area with a, uh, a pair of binoculars. So that right there covers everything that I carry with me. So um, I know that uh, this can be, I, I can add to this, I have take away from this, but like I say, for the last uh, three years, this has covered everything that uh, I've needed to take with me. Um, it works. So, you know, uh, hopefully you found something in this uh, that. Uh, um, you could find uh, to put in uh, your case or, you know, there'd probably be things here that uh, you wouldn't take with you. That's uh, perfectly understandable. Uh, I just wanted to kind of show what I carry uh, as a, uh, on a general basis when I uh, go out. So um, I hope that uh, it'll be warming up soon enough to where uh, I can get out and start doing some more shooting. Um, and, uh, I always uh, love those times, you know, unless Mother Nature or work gets in the way, I like to be out shooting. So, anyways, uh, thanks for watching, and uh, um, we'll uh, 
call a day. Hey, what do you think, Lou? Think we covered everything? Yeah, all right. Take care. <laughs>